What's up guys, it's Lou from UnboxTherapy.com and today I've got a special Android treat for you. Literally, a treat. It's an Android sucker from the happy folks at the Sony store for the Xperia Play launch. They had a couple of extras including this keychain as well. It says Android is ready to play. I sure hope so. Let's find out. So you guys have probably heard of this device. It's the Xperia Play or what was once known as the PlayStation phone. I was super excited for it ever since the announcement. Now let's find out if it can live up to all the hype. Some people were not impressed by the spec list that this phone ended up shipping with. But hey, if it plays the games it's supposed to play, I guess it does the trick, right? So anyway, here's the phone itself. I'm going to place it to the side so that I can get through all the other things in the box. I'm going to place everything down on the table here so I can get the box out of the way. And then we'll move on with all the juicy details. Fairly straightforward stuff. Everything you'd expect with a phone. We got our paperwork. A little quick start guide. But let's get those out of the way. A USB cable, which you've all seen before. It's micro USB on the other side. Our little travel power adapter. And a 1500 milliamp hour battery which is pretty much average for phones in this sort of range. We got a decent headset. We've also got adjustable earpieces, which is nice. Now the phone. Here's the important part. Now I have to say, it's a little chubby. I mean, it's chubbier than what you're used to in Android smartphones or any smartphone for that matter. But there's a reason why, and I'm sure you know why, and we're about to find out in a second why. So let's get these protectors off. There she is. Damn, she's beautiful. Look at that. That's why she's fat. Because she does so much more than any other phone. <laughs> the mechanism feels tight. This thing feels pretty high quality all around. We got our shoulder buttons on the side. Along with our volume rocker. And then on the bottom side we have our micro USB along with our headphone jack. There's obviously a camera on the back side along with an LED flash and our power button along the top. So you gotta insert the battery here to get it booted up. And the nice thing is they give you an 8 gigabyte micro SD. Damn, that mechanism feels tight. So here we are booting up and guys, I gotta be honest, this thing took forever to boot. So, I mean, I got to cut this one here because this thing took forever. It was also Rogers branded, which I wish it wasn't. But anyway, you slide that screen up like that and you can unlock it in landscape mode. Oh, I got to do a couple setup things here. Hang on one second. So now I don't have a SIM card installed right now, but that should be okay because really what I want to look into is some of the games that are on here. So there you have it. And once you're in the OS, as you slide the screen up, you go right into the Xperia Play section. I've gone ahead and installed Air Attack HD. And let me tell you, this thing looks wicked on here. The depth and the colors all look pretty sweet. Go ahead and try FIFA 10, which is included for free with the device. And this game looks pretty good for something that's free. Anyway, I was waiting for some action to happen in the gameplay here, and that turns out me getting scored on is the first action. <laughs> but as you can see, the game really helps to bring out the vibrant colors of this screen, and it really gives you what you're used to in any FIFA game, but in a handheld with proper tactile controls. Now, I'm really happy that Sony included a bunch of games for free so that you can start playing right out of the box and get an impression of what this little machine can do. You can see you got Madden, Star Battalion, FIFA, Bruce Lee, and I already put that Air Attack HD on there. That's not included free. Here's a look at the OS, and it's got Sony skin on it, which sort of lags it down a little bit. That being said, underneath it all, you got Gingerbread running, which I was happy to see. They easily could have just thrown 2.2 on there, but you can see the different notification bar. Here it is up against some comparables. The Galaxy S and the iPhone 4. As you can see, it's chubbier, that's for sure. But it's understandable why. Here you got your different buttons. They're all tactile. 
and this beautiful control. It's all real solid, real nice feeling. You got those optical thumbsticks, the D-pad, and here's that beautiful mechanism. Anyway, guys, be sure to subscribe. I got the full review coming up later on, and I'll really test this thing out along with the pre-installed games. Check out our channel and stay tuned.